Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good night for some parts of the globe. We're here again tonight. Affinity Connect. We are here for leadership search. And I'm sitting in for Mr. Wilfred Adams this evening. And with us tonight, we have Madam Evelyn, who is our woman leader. We have um, HRH, Uncle Sam, I call him actually. He, otherwise, his full name is Sam Anguzia. And um, Wilfred is in the shadows tonight as I sit in for him. So we're here to talk about, you know, the leadership search again. Um, we're standing in for Peter B. All right, Peter B has been all over the, all over Nigeria. So for tonight, we are going to think about what is he actually doing in Nigeria? What is the trend? What probably the Labour Party in Nigeria is doing to ensure that he gets selected? So I'm going to call on Uncle Sam this evening. Uncle Sam, can you please tell us what you think is the situation of things in Nigeria with all your connections? Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. Good afternoon and good morning, depending on what part of the globe you are. Good evening, Uncle Sam. We are happy to tell you that, yes, things are hurting up in Nigeria. And um, with the recent Arise television debate for the presidential candidate, in which, as usual, the two uh, bagged presidential candidates of both APC and PDP did not show up for reasons which they have to express by themselves. And everybody knows simple reason why somebody like the uh, APC presidential candidate could not show up because he has nothing to offer. Whatever he says, anywhere he says it, is a prepared speech for him. And he even read them wrong at the end. So... They don't want him to come and disgrace himself before the general public. But that will not take Nigerians away from their mindset. Atiku, on the other hand, is staying away for the same thing and having his uh, deputy and all his thugs representing him. However, if everybody is aware now that the top guys on our platform, the labor platform, has equally decided there will be no more presidential debate without president, uh, presidential candidates from all the top groups. Otherwise, our own presidential candidate will not show up and could disappoint them in the last minute, even if he's promised to be there. So things are hurting up, and many Nigerians are quite happy in their absence because they know they have nothing to offer and so it's giving our presidential candidate a lot of opportunity to tell nigerians who he is and what he was going to do what he has done and personally i'm happy to stop him from you know those debates if the other candidates are not going to be president so things are getting on very well and i'm happy with it Thank you very much, Uncle Sam. That was a very, uh, you know, interesting revelation of uh, the events that are taking place in Nigeria uh, at, the, at this moment. Well, for everyone who is listening to us or yet to listen when we get the clips out on YouTube, we are actually speaking from London. Uh, sister, I call her Madam Evelyn, but, you know, she's my sister as well. So, Madam Evelyn... My sister is in London. Uh, Uncle Sam is in London. I am in London. And the uh, Wolfred, whom I'm sitting in for, is in Blantyne. And that is in Malawi. You know, so you can see how the global world has become so, you know, easy for everyone to connect. And uh, hopefully tonight is going to be another interesting night in Affinity Connect. So I'm going to go to my sister. 
my woman leader of uh, UK chapter of Labour Party, Evelyn. So, Madam Evelyn, you're welcome to the show. Right. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, viewers. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night from wherever part of the globe globe that you are. Um, thank you for having me all the time, uh, with Fred. It's a pity you are not here, but at least uh, Madam uh, Adi is really doing a good job sitting in for you. She is really good, you know. You should employ her. I think she will be happy to take I'm paying me money so I can go and make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of pounds for it. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, Uncle Sam rightfully said about the uh, debate, I think um, what people, that is the obedience, were saying about um, Peter Obi not going for the debates, to me, I don't agree with them. I would say that it's better for him to go for the debates because this is the debates are opportunities for him to showcase himself to majority of the people that don't know him. Because I believe that there around Nigeria, there are people who don't know him. And with this debate, um, uh, the radio will carry it, the television will carry it, television stations will uh, broadcast the debates live, even uh, social media. So it's a platform for him to extend his, uh, himself and showcase his uh, knowledge of how and how what he has done in the past and how he's going to liberate Nigeria from this stage, from this uh, damp pit that we've been tumbling into. So I think uh, he shouldn't stop, that he should continue. Because, you know, majority of the people in the village, some of them, they don't even, even in the north, or northern part of Nigeria, as we know, majority of them don't even have televisions they, in the villages. They don't have televisions, but they have radio. So I think if they are saying something about Nigerian politics, a lot of them that have radios, they will, they will pay attention. They will be interested to know what is going on. And so if uh, uh, our candidate, Peter Obi, is uh, um, Excellency Peter Obi, the president to be 2023, if he is on air and people are listening to his voice, him explaining himself how he's going to bring Nigeria out of the pit, bring redeem Nigeria out of the pit, and how what he has done in the past, it will, you know, it will uh, endear people's, um, it will endear people to his heart. It will endear him to people's hearts for them to know that this person exists and this person is uh, a candidate that we can rely on. This is somebody that, uh, that is not like the other former candidate, that is the present candidate that has messed up a lot of times and yet they still want to come into uh, the uh, the uh, Aso Rock uh, 2023. So it will be better for our candidate to continue attending the debates, continue going for his campaigns, even if the two thieves, I will call them, Tunubu and the article, they don't attend debates. This is a platform for our candidate to showcase himself more, to reach out to the people more and let people know all his ideas that he has for Nigeria. Thanks, everybody. Well done. That was really, really well articulated. And uh, I think taking on okay. your point, you are really very, very right. You know, he has to come out. He has to showcase himself. And there was something you said that was really, really interesting as well, that people in the village don't have TVs, television sets. So, and most of them, if not most households, have a radio at least, you know, that they listen to very regularly and uh, always. So from that, the news will go around, they will get to know his voice, they will get to hear what he wants to do for them, because he's always talking about, you know, how he's going to get farmers to come back you know, into the fold of economy and be pivotal to uh, increasing the uh, economy of Nigeria, so that we can end some foreign currency and, uh, and feed ourselves as well. So it's about the feeding of, uh, you know, ourselves. And, you know, some people, in the village they really have light families because some of them do not take contraceptives so they just keep having these children and children you know and therefore if they can feed themselves and we have actually i think once he said about even 10 percent export will help you know the, the the nation 
to grow its uh, GDP and, of course, get uh, foreign currency. So well done um, uh, on that note and uh, fantastic. So on, on this stand for uh, Wilfred, uh, Mr. Wilfred Adams, I'm going to actually pick on the point of uh, what I also think, uh, in line with what uh, my sister, Madam Evelyn, said, that we should have him come out. Uh, he went to Benin, that's the general news, you know, uh, that uh, the governor of Benin didn't want to give him the stadium to. And the people who were saying that, that he shouldn't relent. So whether they give him a stadium or not, he should just go and take some square in Benin, which I know very well. There are squares. He can even go to, to the central square, you know. And once he starts talking, of course, with his, uh, you know, uh, securities around him for safety, he will just sell his story. There will be listeners. People will listen to him. You know, so that is very, very important that he continues to do that. And even up north, there's uh, this uh, doctor who has come out for him as well and is preaching to the northerners that they must come out to vote for him. That what has Atiku done for him, uh, for them, sorry. Atiku hasn't done anything, actually, if you think about it, for them. That they end up in this, you know, poverty and penury and, you know, they give them this uh, little ten thousand pounds which will not last i think uncle sam has picked up on that before and that wouldn't last at all and in another few months that money is gone thinking about inflation you know so what will you do in the next four years or eight years like most are suffering at the moment with um buhari coming to say oh he's going to do this he's going to do this so there's a lot that hasn't been done and there's more work to do so you should showcase himself you should go out there and just continue my second um, aspect is the uh, support groups if you if you actually uh, notice they were um sorry for anyone listening we belong to different groups and we have different uh, you know whatsapp setups and a lot of things come from nigeria to us who are in in in, in the diaspora and uh, they were sending us photographs of how they've been reaching out to villages nasarawa they've been uh kaduna they've been these are not Ibo, taraba also. sorry uh, uh taraba also taraba you know all of them you know i said at the very beginning of this our show that i don't even know the 36 states and please if you are listening do forgive me because of a lot of what has been happening in nigeria one tends to just be disinterested because for me i don't know why they've created 36 states you know for what people they they, they they are divide and subdivide you can see what is going on in america at the moment they're creating areas to suit the republicans and if you've got the power as a governor to do it you're only doing it for your own personal gain you're doing it so that you, you are in your position you can be voted out you will get money you know from the government from the federal government and all the rest of it so it has actually become politics of self-interest it's not politics of Peter B has said it unequivocally that he hasn't come in for politic of self-interest. And a messiah does things for what? To leave his legacy behind that, yes, this is it. But Atiku, uh, Emilio Kong, you know, look at that. He wants, he's doing it for self-interest. He wants to mortgage Nigeria because he has already mortgaged Lagos. You even hear now that they're going to charge you for parking your car in your own compound, 90,000 Naira a year or something like that, to that effect. I mean, it's got to take somebody who doesn't actually know what the world economy is doing. They travel to England after seeing what happens in England, they don't take it back. They go to America, they can't take it back. So what are we talking about? It's P2B. So your PVCs must be gotten. You must come out that day to vote. And you know the logo, Mama Pekin and Papa. Yes, Mama Pekin and Papa. Not the other one, no. There's another one they brought out to confuse you people. All my listeners, tell your younger ones, tell your family. There are two men at the, at the top. They are like climbing step. No, we are not climbing step. We want to make sure that Mama, Papa, and Pekin alone in the picture and only three people they there out they not past three so when i get to vote because we are supporting people even yes 
anybody can be criticized. Uh, Moses was Moses not criticized, but he was chosen. Was he not born in? Um, was he not from Pharaoh? What was Pharaoh doing? But he was then picked out of that to ensure that he leads them to. But he didn't get there. Ah, that is not a portion for Pitobio. But Pitobio will get there if possible. We go there for eight years so that he can finish the job that he started from February the 23rd. So my people, we can speak pigeon for now. We can come out, we can come vote because that is what we want. We are fighting in England as well to make sure that people at home, all the support groups are working really hard at home to reach out to those little, little villages because that is what is important. So, for tonight, we are on Affinity Connect and we are leadership search, yes, from London. And we have our usual host is from Blantyne in Malawi, where there is sunshine, but there's no petrol there. It's not hot to Nigeria. So we must go to the governor there to tell us, hey, can you please release petrol, you know, so that our host go feed drive get home you know on time as well so that is uh tonight's program and um we're going to thank everybody uncle sam do you have any other thing to say uh just a quick one that um to summarize what both you and the evelyn has said you are both right in a way but also the notation that he should not be speaking when the other presidential candidates are not there is a, a good point because we don't want him to be belittled by uh, vice presidents and just uh, appointed referrals to come and be challenging him like uh, uh, what's his name Okoa and uh, the the man they call uh, Dino Malay who who lied when he got to, uh, he was to be arrested he lied that he was sick and all those things you see all those type of criminals should not be in the same podium with our presidential candidate. And that is the reason why we are telling him not to be in the same podium with them. And he has a lot of campaign strategies. Going down from village to village would be better suited because like you rightly said, there are no television in some areas. So if he can go to the villages, he will be better known than talking on television where these villagers will not see him so there are many ways to kill a rat without spilling the blood peter b will be the president of nigeria come 2023 whether they like it or not i know that most nigerians have said it <laughs> oh it can't be it can't be because they think the way the politics is being played in nigeria before is going to continue no this time around it's a different ball game so thank you for listening and I hope all of you listening, both from home and in the diaspora, we have the same determination to ensure that Nigerian politics become a new political era and get Peter Obi elected to rule Nigeria, lead Nigeria to a better Nigeria, take Nigeria away from the holders to the owners. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Thanks a lot for that. And uh, Madam Evelyn? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. My people, um, I want to thank all of you now, all the support groups, going from one village to the other, going from city to city. I'm in UK. I'm not there physically to also go like you people to the villages, to reach out to people, going to the market places, um, educating people. I've said it several times in this show that uh, that was from the in, in, initial stage of this show. I've said it that we should be going, people, support groups should be going to villages, going to uh, market places where they will reach out to the common man. Because this, these people are the people, the villagers and the common man are the people that have the PVC. They are the people that they, they, most of the time they don't even watch television. Because if they go to the market, once they close from market, they go home, prepare meals for their family, and then, like the women, even the men, I believe, they'll prepare meals for their family and then go to bed and sleep. So they don't even have time to watch television. So you support groups going from place to place to make sure that you are touching out the hearts of these people, touching out, reaching out to these people. 
in these uh, rural areas, rural rural communities and uh, villages and markets. I thank you so much. May God bless and reward all of you bountifully because it's not easy for you to dedicate yourself, to give yourself this vital, uh, vital duty because it's really vital. Because leaving all your, your job, leaving your business to dedicate yourself that you want Peter Obi to be the president. Nobody is paying you people. You are going from place to place, educating people on how to vote, educating them on the logo of the uh, Labour Party. I thank you so much. You are doing a great job. And for this reason, if your reward is here on earth, all of you doing this great job. Your reward is here on earth. It's not your reward is in heaven. No, because if Peter Obi wins this election and he is the new president 2023, I believe or what your, your efforts you, you are putting in will pay off because a lot of Niger millions of Nigerians will have a better life. And if not all, millions will, more than half of the Nigerian population will surely have a better life. Even we in the diaspora will be planning to return home so we we'll enjoy life because in Europe, to tell you the truth, there's no enjoyment. I see Facebook, I see Instagram, how you people flaunt dresses every week. Every weekend, you will see people, Nigerian people, dressed up, going to parties, doing uh, ashwebi, dancing. Even without parties, you see them all dressed up, saying that, oh, we are just having a stroll. Yeah, we have strolls here, yeah, but we, are, we don't have this time to be together, to spend together with other people. Because European lifestyle, is work, work, work because you have to pay the bills. So please, I thank you all. We in diaspora, we appreciate you. If not everybody, me, I appreciate you so much. And I believe my colleagues here also appreciate all your efforts. May God bless you abundantly. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Madam Evelyn. Well said. Well, well said. And uh, from me, who is sitting in for Wilfred Adams, the um, chief host, right? I just agree with my co-hosters here that uh, we have to do everything to ensure that P2B gets into power because those who are holding it now, uh, since Ev Evelyn said something, you know, earlier on that I wanted to comment on, you know, they say the evil that men do, Yes, those days, you remember, they say he lives after them. But mm -hmm. now, the evil that men do lives with lives them. Lives with them, yeah, you know, right. Lives with them. Now, we can see the evil that they're doing. And anyone in this election that is thinking, oh, they are going to go back to the old page. No, 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 no. We are opening a new leaf. Nigeria is going to become, Uncle Sam always says it, producing um, country like Peter Obi said, but above all of that, we want to become developed country. The, yeah. We are the giant of Africa. We have all the resources. We have everything. Uh, they showed Gaddafi just the other day. He paid for everything. Dubai is paying for everything. Even with our millions yeah, of inhabitants, our population, what we make is able to ensure that they have good hospitals, as at least if nothing else, the retirees, the OAPs, will get free medical care and assistance with a lot of things like their medicines, you know, free medical care. Okay, some medicines are very expensive, but we can afford it. So think about your mother, think about your father, think about your mother's mother's mothers, think about your, you know, great, 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 great. All the children coming they are going to benefit from this so we say thank you very much for listening this is uh, affinity connect and uh, from uncle sam which is what i call him from madam evelyn for tonight's show we thank you for listening from all over the world and you will be with us again same time next week where we bring you another dimension of the leadership search and who are we searching for? The right leadership for Nigeria. And everybody that will work with him definitely will have to uphold themselves, show dignity, show respect, show resilience, and work to ensure that Nigeria becomes better. Thank you very much. And from me sitting in for 
with Fred Adams again, Affinity Connect. We say good night. Good night, good night everyone. everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.